what's the reaction when if you if you do talk about it to like fans constantly sort of haranguing you for a foul ball or, or for, <laughs> you know I, I feel like that happens a lot especially at this level where the fans are always like hey can I get a ball yeah uh, we, we talk about it a little bit especially if there's someone who's who's really persistent a kid or or if there's a, a kid up there who we know has already gotten two or three balls and is, is still all over us to get one, we'll talk about that a little bit. But okay. it's fun, you know. I, I put myself in their shoes when I was, you know, five to you know, 15 years old going to games. You know, that was sure. and certainly until you're about 11 or 12. That was that was one of my main goals was to hopefully get a foul ball. So you, you have to put yourself in their shoes a little bit and know how cool it is for them. Sure. How about grown-ups who are haranguing you for foul balls? What's the feeling on that? About what? Grown-ups who want a foul ball. Oh, uh, uh, that's that's a little mm -hmm. bit different. You know, I'd, we we try and give it give the balls to, to kids as much as possible. Um, you know, and if and if a grown-up gets it, we hope that they give it to a kid. I know I, any any time I break a bat after the game, I, I try and get it to a kid uh, cool. if, if I can, because I have no use for it. And I know if I was that age, I would I would have loved getting one. I know fans are. Are the players superstitious? Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, I. I've have said no in the past, and then I go through my daily routine, and I and I do al almost everything. I'm not uh, I'm not super religious about about a lot of things that I do, but I I do most of the stuff the same almost every single day. I, I guess when you reach this level, how much are you thinking about that next step? How much are you thinking about just focusing on your game day to day? Yeah, I think everyone up here is thinking about you know what what basically what you have to do to to get good enough to to get to the next step, and then after that, you know, hopefully sticking up there for a little bit, but. Uh, yeah, I mean it's it's definitely been a huge huge step up from Double A. You know, it's a big big jump from High A to Double A. But I think even even you know Double A to Triple A is an even bigger step. What, so what do you need to do better? What's the what's the thing you're focusing on now? Um, you know, basically since I've been drafted, it's it's been defense. Um, you know, I've I've worked a lot on turning the double play. You know, mainly the the five four three and the six four three. Um, and I've I've gotten a lot better, and it's gotten even better this year. I feel like I've you know, I've, I've had some. Some turns this year that I definitely feel like I, I wouldn't have made even this time last year. The home run you hit this year was it, was it a mistake? How'd that happen? Uh, no, I, I wouldn't say it was it was a mistake. You know, I've, I've usually I, I hit 11 in the Cal League. I hit five last year. Um, you know, we we played in a in a massive park. You know, we had like Jed, our catcher, last year. I think he hit 12 or 13 last year and easily could have hit 20. Uh, and and if, if he was playing in a different hitters park, we had a lot of guys. Caleb Cow was the same way last year. Um, so you know, I'm, I'm not by any means. I'm not a home run hitter, um, you know, clearly. But I, you know, I, I do have the. Uh, I'm, I'm more of like a line drive guy, staying, you know, in the gaps, hitting, hitting as many doubles as possible, and some of those are going to carry out. But uh, no, it, it, it wasn't. It wasn't a mistake. You no, know, hopefully, I can get a few more before the season starts. Well, I know you have two triples, so you've, you've got twice as many triples as you have home runs. So I know you're a, you're a line drive hitter. Um, the experience as a professional ball player. I mean, I know everyone sort of has this this vision of it. Um, what uh, you know for for living out this this dream, I think for a lot of people, what are the things that you know that like the average fan you think doesn't quite understand about being a professional ball player? Um, well, we're here. I mean, I, I get here somewhere between 12:30 and 1 p.m. every day, and then we're here obviously until the game's over. Usually leaving the park around. You know, now our games start at seven for the most part, so we're leaving the park around you know, 10.30 or 11 at the earliest. Uh, and, then, and then you do it, every, you know, basically every day. We've had, I think, four off days so far coming up on the All-Star break. So it's 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 been a lot. Uh, I'm guessing a lot of people don't know about the travel either. You know, we most of our flights are at 6 in the morning. Like today, we had a, a 6 a.m. We had a 7, a, or 7 p.m. game last night. You know, got back to the hotel about 12.30 and then left the hotel at 4.30 to go to the airport and then have another game tonight and, and eight more after this before we get another off day so so that's that's a tough part but you know you can't complain you're playing you're playing baseball for a living so you really you know you can't complain about much you do you question the guys on the team who have been in the majors about the experience yeah that's that's basically all we ask about you know how you know how was it and you know everyone says it's it's an awesome experience and you know everyone uh, everyone can't wait to get back up there you know you don't you don't talk too much about specifics I'll ask about you know a certain pitcher if I if I, uh, you know, have always wondered what it's, you know, if you faced a real veteran guy or something like that, asking him, you know, what that's like. But uh, yeah, everyone comes back saying it's awesome, and, and they can't wait to get back. Is there a pitcher you want to face when you get up there? Uh, I wouldn't say there's any one guy. You know, I always, uh, I was, a, I was a Yankees fan growing up, so you know, Mariano Rivera was always one of my favorite players, and you know, I, I would have loved to have, have gotten in the box and seen what that looked like. Obviously, he's retired now, but yeah. um, at this point, not no one, no one really in specific. Okay. If you can't make your debut, uh, debut 
in Anaheim. Is there a ballpark in particular? I know you just said you're a Yankees fan, so is that is that where you want to make your debut? If you uh, can't be in I'd, Anaheim? I'd, I'd do it anywhere. Uh, Yankee Stadium would be awesome. It'd, it'd be really cool. I, I grew up about 30 or 40 minutes from the Rangers ballpark. Okay. Uh, so that was that was the local team that I grew up going to their games. So that that would be really neat too. But you know, I'd, I'd take anywhere for sure. Okay.